Hey guys, today's video is going to be about my natural hair. I've gotten questions in regards to if I'm natural, um, how long have I been growing my hair, what's my hair regimen, um, products that I use. So pretty much right now I'm going to try to get into as much of that as possible. So right now this is my natural hair. I took my sewing out a few weeks ago. And this is my hair... Uh, wash flat iron and then I put wand curls in it a few days ago um so my hair is like about a week old or so now the main question um people ask if I'm natural yes my hair is natural in the sense I do not relax my hair um or chemically straighten it in any kind of way I have natural hair I've always been natural and I will never get a relaxer now, my hair is not virgin hair because I do dye my hair and I flat iron it, flat iron it and straighten it. Um, and I do put heat to my hair. Now, um, how I grow my hair out. I've, when I was younger and growing up, I've never really tried to grow my hair out. I just, over the years, have noticed when my hair does grow. And when my hair grows the most is when it's in braids. Like if I have um, extensions or my hair is in a sew-in and it's braided up underneath, my hair, I notice the most growth when I take out those protective styles. So pretty much my hair likes to be left alone. Now with my last sew-in, what I did do was I started taking the hair, skin, and nail gummies. And it's from Nature's Bounty. And I think they're like five, six dollars a piece. I usually get mine from Walgreens because at Walgreens they'll have like buy one, get one free. And so when I took these with my last sew in, um, I got about, and I kept that sewing in for a month and a half, and I got an inch and a half of growth. Which, I mean, it pretty much, you know, it makes sense. It wasn't any major growth or anything like that, but I just took it with that protective style to see if it would like kickstart the growth um some growth for me but i was happy with the length that i um got to retain and the length that i've gained but right now i'm going to just hurry up and do a length check and so right now the side of my hair comes about well let me put my head up right there so it's kind of like in the front it's like to the bottom of my bra and I guess it just depends on which bra I wear as you could tell but I'm going to turn around and do a proper length check with my shirt that I made all right so let's see Now, I did the length check before and took a picture, and so when I did it, just now I couldn't really see, but when I took the picture, it was pretty much around a 9, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the 9 and just see where I'm at um, after my next sew-in. So, what I did also, I went back to the basics, I started using like Mane and Tail and um, Tresemme's Natural and recently um like the herbal essence because i love the smell of it but before all of that i was using the pantene pro v um relax and natural line now they switched up to where it used to be like relax and natural but now it's like either natural or relaxed so of course i got the natural one and i got the clarifying shampoo and i got the deep conditioner so, and I noticed whenever I use the Pantene, it never makes my hair feel dry. The conditioner still has a slip, 
that you want. My hair just always felt like moisturized when I used that shampoo and conditioner. So I'm like, hey, it worked then. It never had a negative effect on my hair. I like the smell of it too. So let me just go back to that. It does have like sulfate and all that stuff, but I'm not a real big sulfate free Nazi. Like it's my hair will be fine. I've been using it for a while and it's cool. Now, another thing I use in my hair, if I straighten my hair, I'll either use the Argon, one and only Argon oil that I usually get from Sally's, or I'll just do coconut oil. And I'll just put a little bit on my finger while it's in the, like the solid state, and then I'll rub it into my hands, put it on my ends, put it on like the roots of my hair and stuff. And not a lot to like really weigh my hair down, but just enough to where my hair will soak it up and get the benefits from it. Now, with my next sew-in, I decided to try Hairfinity. And I got two bottles because I'm going to keep my sewing in for two months. I will say I took Hairfinity for a few days not even a week, I would say maybe two or three days, uh, about a week or so ago, because at first I was going to get the sewing, so I was like, let me just take it, but I stopped. But I did notice that it broke me out in my chin area. Now, I do not experience breakouts. Like, my skin, I have pretty decent skin. So as soon as I took it, I knew that was what the case was. So I went on ahead and... um I, re I did some shopping. I got a bunch of water, just cases and cases of bottled water so I can make sure I drink enough. Um, I'm going to cut all like processed food, greasy foods, a lot of butter and just fast food and everything. Try to eat more healthy just to help um, bring the breakouts if it occurs again to a minimum. So I'm going to do my part in it. So hopefully... My skin will stay as clear as possible. But even if it's just a little bit, you know, I'll probably still use keep using it just to see where my hair is after those two months. Now, the sewing that I was talking about, um, with my last sewing, I got the Queen Weave Beauty LTD Brazilian Deep Wave. Now, I'm going with the same company, the Queen Weave Beauty, um, but I'm doing the Brazilian straight hair. I got, I ordered four packs. And I got a four packs in the closure. So I got a 14 inch closure and then I got like 16, 18, 20, and 22. I plan on installing all four bundles and the closure. Full sewing just like I did last time. And, you know, it just is so much easier. Like, especially with me being in Texas and it's getting the weather is so bipolar. It'll be in that high 80s one day and then it'll be like cold and gloomy and rainy the next. And I'm just so tired. Of it. I don't want to deal with it, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And this is still the same hair color from when I dyed my hair. Uh, what is it? L'Oreal's High Color Highlights in Magenta. So, of course, I've washed it a bunch of times, and I, I still have not retouched my color. And like I said, I still use shampoo. I don't use super hot water when I'm washing my hair, but... um yeah, so the color, I still like the color a lot. It's not as vibrant as it was, obviously, but I still like it. And as far as my hairstyle today, I just went on ahead and put a braid. Just a little French braid because my husband, ooh, my husband and I are fans of the show. Ooh, good grief. We're fans of the show Vikings, and he likes the, like, how the girls have, like, their hair braided and stuff. So every now and then I, like put the braid in there because I mean I think it's cute anyway and it just gives my hair like a different look but yes this is my natural hair after my sewing and I did get some growth and I'm just going to see now where the hair affinity takes my hair if I don't see a major growth or if I don't get at least the same amount of growth as I did with the um, hair skin and nail gummies then I'm just going to stick with the hair skin and nail gummies because there's no point in me spending six dollars and I get more product 
than spending $50 for something that's going to give me the exact same results. So, I got the two months of supply just to try it and see how it goes. If I like it, I'll go ahead and probably get like the six months supply to hold me over for the rest of the year, you know. Let's see how it goes. But, um, I tried to get everything. I did trim my hair when I straightened it last week. So, um... I don't know. I probably took off maybe like half an inch. Not a lot at all. And I probably won't trim it again until... Mm, I don't know. If I keep my other sewing in, if I keep my next sewing in for a month and a half, I'll probably end up trimming it after I take that out just to give my ends like a fresh look. But yeah. This is my hair. If you guys have any questions, comments, I hope I got everything in this video. If not, just leave it below um, and I'll answer as many questions as I can but please do not ask me if I am relaxed or how long I've been transitioning or if my hair is natural my hair is natural okay thanks guys I'll talk to you guys later bye